Wow. It's been a while since I first entered the world of duel monsters. Managed to create a deck to go out and duel against people. And cost me a lot of money, but I also managed to get a duel disc. With this deck, I'll be sure to defeat a lot of great duelists, move up the ranks, and hopefully become one of the best duelists around. I'm sure of it. If it isn't enough of me, pathetic duelist with a more great deck. What? What the hell? Who are you? My name is none of your concern. However, what is your concern is that you give me your deck. Bad. My deck? Oh, no way, Jose. This deck is mine. And I'm not just going to hand it over to some Halloween costume mask wearing freak. <laughs> oh. So you want to do this the hard way, huh? Fine. Take it down and move you like you should. Time to Alright then. You got yourself a tool. Let's begin. Alright. I'll get this tool started. To start off, I sent a monster to face down in defense mode. Then, I'll end my turn by placing one card face down. Your move, if you dare, that is. Alright, my turn then. I draw. I'll start off by summoning Cybers Wizard in attack mode. With a cyber stick, huh? This should be an interesting duel for sure. That is, if you can beat me. Oh, I assure you, this is really going to be an interesting duel. Now, Cyber's Wizard, attack his face down card! <laughs> yeah, that was a very smart move, you know why? The monster you destroyed was a giant churn. Now, two more times, and you take five hundred points of damage. <sighs> I took 500 points of damage. No matter. It won't affect me in the long run, hopefully. So now, I'll just set two cards and end my turn. Is that you got? My turn. I draw. Nothing I can do from now, so I'll put a monster in defense mode and change all my giant turns to defense mode. And that's going to end it for my turn. Your move. Alright then. My turn then. I draw. Alright. I'll summon. Launch your commander in attack mode. And now, special ability activates. All my other cyber monsters gain 300 attack and defense points. Once per turn, I contribute one of those monsters and destroy a monster you control. But I don't think I'm going to do that. So... Cypher's Wizard, attack his other face-down card! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a point like you, because the monster you attacked is very much like the monster. With 2100 attack points, so they're evenly matched, so neither monster is destroyed, and we don't both, neither of us take any damage. <sighs> Too strong defense. Well, main phase two, I activate terraforming. <laughs> Allowing me to add one field spell from my deck straight to my hand. And with that, I think I'm going to end my turn. Alright, I'm going to draw. Alright, I sacrifice both my giant jerks. This is the summon Archfiend Emperor the First Lord of War! <laughs> what 
and L will stop you. Point out this crap dog, both from the front. My friend is just do, you want to do my graveyard. I can tell you one thing that attack is just enough on the field. If the attack is from zero, it will be end of my turn. I don't think so, pal. I activate my trap card, Dark Bride. Now the effects of your trap card don't activate. However, on the downside, you'll get to draw a card, but however, it still saves my monster. <sighs> no matter. Because you can't none. Now, let me put some damage to you. Now, the first move of war, attack the launcher commander. <sighs> no! My launcher commander! Dang it, I was gonna use that! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings like that. Oh wait, yes I did. Well, I'll end my turn. I'm going to another turn. I can't hear but in your case, I probably should just need to give up at this point. Wow. That monster's huge. I've got to be careful. Draw. This should help me out. Alright. Set a monster face down to defense mode. I changed my Cyber's Wizard to defense mode. As well as set one card face down. Your move. Right. I'll summon Wall of Illusion in attack mode. Then, I'll sacrifice all three of my monsters in order to summon the card that one of the cards that help me win this year. Come out! Look at all those cards! Holy crap! 4100 attack points! That thing is strong! Oh, and by the way, my monster won't be fighting anymore. I have to make the trap. Call the trap! In order to bring back my archery number, the first lord of war! And even if your monsters are still in defense mode, they'll still be destroyed and you'll have no control. Now, Garza, attack his Cyber Wizard! <laughs> I don't think so. My monsters are staying where they are. I activate the trap Three Strikes Barrier. And now, since you control exactly three cards, I can activate one of its effects. And the effect I choose is, my monsters can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Ah! What, what the hell? Why did I still take damage? My monster was in defense mode! Oh... Silly me. Did I forget to mention that whenever legendary monster guards it attacks the monster in defense mode, it inflicts crucial damage? And even with that free stress barrier your card to save from destruction, you still take damage. And now you're at 2,900 life points. So if all you like is doing it right now... I don't think so, Halloween Mask Man. I might be at a disadvantage with life points, but I'll never give up. I'm not giving up my favorite deck to you. Do you understand that? Fine. Have it your way, then. I'll set another card to the deck, and then next turn. Next turn, it's all over for you. <sighs> Come on. I need a good card. Come on. Draw! Perfect. For this turn, I'll flip summon Digitron in attack mode. Then, I'll normal summon Flame by Furlough in attack mode. Then, I'll build my circuit. The summoning condition requires at least two effect monsters. So I send Cyber's Wizard, Digitron, and Flame by Furlough, and the Link Arrows to summon Link 3 Deco Talker. So that's a Link monster. And plus, how do I personally take an to Decoy? Considering there are still these two strong monsters on the field. Oh, and guess what? It doesn't stop there because Flame Buffalo's special ability activates. I can discard a cyber monster like Dual Assemblerm from my hand to draw two new cards. <clears throat> perfect! I just drew the perfect card, right? Yes! So say goodbye to your strong monsters. <sighs> no! You destroyed one of the most powerful monsters on my field! Damn no! Aw, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. But guess what? I activate the second spell I drew. United we stand. 
Now my decode talker gains 800 attack points for every monster on my field. There's one, so it gains 800 attack points. Now decode talker, attack him directly! <laughs> Alright, at least I managed to deal some damage to you. For now, I'll just end my turn. My turn. I draw. I have been stopped by the war of darkness. I brought you and then the dark monsters on my hand. And then a card draw. Then I have to stop by complete preparation of life. So I add a ritual monster miracle spell card that was the original monster from a deck split to my hand. And unfortunately that's all I can do for now, so I end that turn. Alright then, my turn. I draw. Now, I think I'll attack you again. Deco Talker, attack him directly again! Huh. I'm not gonna let you end me right here and now. Because I have to hit the spell card. Why are the beast? I wonder if I can hit the spell I'm still here. Good luck next time. Huh. He had that card face down, but why didn't he play it on my last turn? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll finish him off next next turn. I place another card face down and end my turn. Alright. I draw. I have to make the spell card end of the world. So now, I sacrifice chakra for my hand, as well as that last Tuesday token, to summon the beginning of the end for this tool. A ritual summon? That's why he saved that card! <sighs> Whatever. My monster's still stronger. <laughs> that way, monster tries to get a problem. If I have to make the mind of the Armageddon special ability, so I can hang one, two thousand of my own life. I can destroy all cards you can destroy. What? <laughs> no! My Deco Talker! That's right. And now, with your Deco Talker gun, I can kill a Zerath with that. Now, to my screen of Armageddon, attack him! Huh? Ah. Ah. I'm down to 500 life points! No! Huh. It's hopeless. It's so hard for you. are down to losing 500 life points. On your main phase 2, I activate my trap card, Jar of Avarice. That card allows me to pick 5 monsters, or 5 cards from my graveyard and put them back in my deck. So for this, I choose 3 Strikes Barrier, Dark Bribe, Raigeki, Flame Buff Furlough, and Cyburst Wizard. I thought any other card in your deck is gonna help me now. Oh, I assure you, these cards I picked will help me, because now I get to draw 1 card. Yeah, I'm sure this card will be, will be able to help. This thing did nothing! Even if you draw that was put in at one point in three, it's not going to help you. So for now, I'm just gonna end my turn. Your move. But I highly suggest you give up now! Alright, time to end this. My draw! I summon Dotscaper in attack mode! Then, I'm gonna build my circuit! The summoning condition is one level one monster, so I send Dotscaper from my hand to the graveyard in order to Link summon Link One Link Karima. Then Dotscaper's special ability activates. I can special summon him back from my field to the back from my field from the graveyard thanks to, thanks to its special ability. Then I'm gonna Link summon again using Dotscaper and Link Karibo to Link summon Link Two. Clock Sparty! Then it special ability activates. I get to add Cyanet Fusion from my deck straight to my hand. Then I'll chain it with my trap, recode it alive. I banish Deco Talker from my graveyard in order to special summon Enco Talker from, from my extra deck. Now I activate Cyanet Fusion by fusing Enco Talker. Clock Sparty and, and Clock Wyvern from my hand. I'm going to fusion summon the thing, the, the card that's really gonna end this duel. Cyber's Clock Dragon! Wow! I can fusion summon too! So what? 
It has 2,500 attack points. And 100 extra attack points is still no threat to me. Cyber's Clock Dragon's effect activates. I sent cards from the top of my graveyard, equal to the link ratings of all link monsters used to fusion summon it. I sent five cards from my deck straight to the graveyard. That brute gives it 5,000 attack points, meaning it's 7,500 attack points. No! It can't be! Lost. Oh. Now Cyber's Clock Dragon, attack Divine's King of Armageddon and end this duel! That's game! How can I lose to a punk like you? This isn't over. There's no way you could defeat all 13 of us and when we revive the sacred beasts. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? 13 of you? Sacred beasts? Just who are you? Fine. Before I go, I'll get to tell you my name. My name is Voss Dread. Remember it well. Because I will be back for revenge, and my deck will be much stronger. Wow. Vostred, the sacred beasts. Something tells me I probably haven't seen the last of those guys. I need to I need to upgrade my deck and be ready for when these 13 guys come after me.